Hey guys, it's Joyce here, Shadow by You Tarot with a little on you, bringing you the Tarot Love T for the Zodiac sign of Libra. Let me check, make sure I am recording. Those of you who know me know I always got to look, make sure. Okay, we are. So these are current love energies. So, you know, energy is fluid. This could be what's happening now in your love life or what's about to happen. Take it as it resonates, leave the rest behind. And also these are general love readings, so please understand these messages will not resonate with every single person out there. If you would like a personalized reading for your situation in particular, email me here, shadowbyutero at gmail.com. So, Without further ado, let's get to it. All right. And let me see, let me see what deck I'm going to use. Well, I am going to give you a couple of spirit animal messages here. Before we begin, I love my little spirit animal deck. All right, let's see what's going on for you guys. We have the dog spirit that came out. Be loyal to what you love. And that is the number 19, one and nine makes 10. At the end of a cycle, a cycle is complete for you guys, okay? Be loyal to what you love. I feel a separation, a distance. But I feel like you do feel or your person feels because this could be you or them a devotion still toward the other or to the commitment to the relationship. Giraffe spirit, see the big picture. Okay. So this is number 29. That's 11. I do feel that there has to be some type of a level of understanding in this connection with you and your person I feel a completion of a cycle but not a completion of the relationship it's too strong of a bond there's too much there's something there connecting you okay I do feel you both look towards one another very longingly so fully lovingly It's very good energy. It's just so, like there's a situation around you guys going on that you can't help but have to deal with. And it's keeping you from being a couple, an official couple, all right? It's something that's putting some type of a distance or a separation of some kind. All right, let's see what's going on. I'm using the Gilded Tarot here, Libra. Right, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. We also have the Five of Swords. So yeah, somebody had to separate themselves from a person or situation here. Cutting someone out. This could have been a conversation that has been repeated, repeated, the same thing. Like, in other words, something like, I've said this over and over, 
I said, if this didn't change, I said, if this didn't show up, I said, if you didn't do this or if this didn't happen, however it went, that I would be gone. I would give up. I would let go. Something like that. Another person is hurt. Hurt feelings. And the person who said this was determined, like, I'm going to teach you a lesson. I'm going to teach you that I mean what I say. And that person feels like, yeah, I showed you. I showed you that I meant what I was saying. I wasn't pulling your leg. I wasn't blowing smoke. But fives also are, are about change. So whatever happened here, there's still love and loyalty. There's still that connection. But somebody wanted to show someone what it felt like. You know, um, and it's not, and I, I'm really not getting, I feel like somebody is holding back and the other person kept pushing for more um, and got tired of feeling like it just wasn't enough. They wanted more of a commitment. They wanted more of love, you know, some sharing between you guys, and it just wasn't happening like they wanted. There was someone holding back here, but the love is there. It's absolute. I feel it. All right. Libra, that, that's you cutting that person out, or, yeah. All right, let's see what's happening here. Four of Wands. The Chariot, Five of Cups, another five, and the Hangman. So somebody here wanted a commitment, engagement, marriage, something that led to marriage. And the other person kept holding back, holding back that push forward, okay? Even though the want is there, okay? And that person feels bad. Now, for some of you, your person is married in a committed relationship and won't leave that other person. So, somebody here wants forgiveness. Either someone's in a third party situation and they don't know how to get out of it. They're stuck in limbo. Or your person is just fearful of making that commitment. All right? I do feel there has been some type of Betrayal in the past, third party energy in the past, if it's not happening in the present. There's something that keeps somebody here from pushing forward and making that commitment, even though they want to. Yeah, there are differences here. Something is different. The dynamic is something about the dynamic here that's interference. And it's causing the whole relationship to be in limbo, whether somebody is coupled or not with someone else. Somebody's stuck and can't move forward. They want to stay in their ground. They want to put the conflict at an end. They want to get out of limbo and be able to make a decision, be able to move forward in a commitment. Okay? It keeps them up at night. They want to get out of this bad place with you, this place of feeling insecure, feeling hurt. Somebody wants to apologize. Somebody does want to take a leap of faith. 
They want the situation to change. They want to be able to commit, but they just can't figure it out right now. They're not going to let you go. You're not going to let them go. This is... I don't see forward movement yet. However, I do see them thinking about being able to move forward with you in the future. Being able to give you what you want, Libra, in the future is what I see. This person loves you. There is a heavy third party energy here now in the devil. And it's a, a burden. It's a big burden. And you both feel like you're the soulmate of each other. And it's just going to take time. The Wheel of Fortune is also about divine timing. It's just going to take time for this wheel to turn in your favor. It will if you persevere and you just hold on and go through it. You know, hold on for that ride, Libra. Yeah, you'll have what you want. You'll have your dream come true, but it looks like it's in the distant future. So you could be easily dealing with, this is the signs that are sticky. It could be any sign, guys, any sign. These are energy readings. I'm going to give you the most dominant, the, the signs that are sticking out to me the most is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, especially Cancer. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, especially Capricorn. Virgo energy is very strong. Aries energy is strong. Okay, so we have Capricorn, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer. Those are the strongest energies. Now, it could be any sign, but those are the strongest. All right, let me pull from the Romance Angels, guys. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Water energy, that emotion is just overflowing. You both want each other. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So, stay optimistic. Things will change. Yes, you will have to wait. Yes, you will have to be patient. All right, but change is coming in the future. All right, I feel it's not going to happen this year for a lot of you. Now, for some of you, it may happen later in this year, but for others of you, I'm going to say it's a 50 50, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say 50% of you, it will happen within this year, but later in the year, toward the end of the year. And the other half, it look for it next year. But don't give up on your person, all right? Because they're not giving up on you. You're kind of like, you know what? I'm just going <laughs> to... But you truly don't want that. And you know that, okay? So good luck with it all. Be patient, be patient, be patient. You know, sometimes the road is just very, very rocky, full of detours and twists and turns that we have to persevere, we have to go through. You know, lessons to be learned along the way, guys, and it'll just grow your relationship stronger. It is challenging. It won't be easy. I'm going to tell you the truth. So good luck. And if you would like a private reading for your situation, just email me here, shadowbyutarot at gmail.com. And check out my new Patreon, Shadow by Utero on Patreon. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.